Damn, Mike's always muted when I get back from a tournament. Yo, yo, yo. What is going on, guys? It is Boy Optic Scumpy. Long time no see. I know. I don't want to hear shit about it. I didn't post videos while I was there. Um, basically, I was just way too exhausted, and I didn't really have that much time to actually do videos. Um, a lot of my time was spent sleeping and preparing for the next match and uh, signing autographs, taking pictures. So I didn't really have time to make extra videos. I apologize. But we did qualify, and that's the only thing that matters. Um, that's what we went there to do. We ended up doing it. We ended up playing Denial West, I think. Denial West, our first match, ended up 3 0 them despite having very, very close games. Um, every single one of those games could have went either way. It was like plus 9 and Dom, 6 to 5 in Search and Destroy, and then the Blitz. I can't even remember what it was. I think we won by. Oh, we went into overtime, actually, and then we ended up winning by a couple caps or maybe even one cap. I'm not 100% sure. But um, ended up beating them 3-0. Then we went on to play Envious. We beat Envious on the first map, which was Freight Bomb, pretty easily, actually. And then um, after that, they beat us in Search and 7-8 to eight in Blitz, super close. So I don't know why we kept playing Warhawk whenever we just kept losing it. And we just seemed lost when we played Envy on it. We just should have played Octane or Freight um, in Blitz the whole weekend, but we played Warhawk. Um... And then the last Dom on Strike Zone. I've never seen a team set up like that. Never. They had like the craziest setup ever. Um, both sides, we had a great start. And then we just lost it. I don't really know what happened. Um, we got off to great starts on both sides. We had the advantage. And then we ended up losing the map by a lot. Not even a little. Um, so they're really, they beat our ass on that map. That's really one of the only maps that we got like flat out destroyed the whole weekend. Was that map. And then we ended up playing... Um, Curse New York, and that was the qualifier match, and that was go home or, you know, go home, not qualify, or go to champs, you know, qualify for LA, and that was the match, and we were we were one map away from not qualifying at one point. It was 2-1 to one in their favor. Um, <clears throat> played, we played them on Sovereign Dom. We destroyed them on Sovereign Dom. We ended up playing them on Freight, SND, and um, everybody clutched up whenever they needed to on that map. That was... Uh, that was a very, very big map for all of us, and everybody played uh, their role. Everybody played well, uh, especially Nate Shot. Nate Shot killed it on that map. But uh, everybody clutched up when they needed to on that map, and we ended up qualifying. But it was really scary. Just picture being one map away, and you're down a map from not being able to go to L.A. That would just, that would be, oh, I would have been so upset. But the celebration afterwards was pretty, pretty awesome. Then we went on to play Complexity and lost 3-1 to one with more really, really close matches. Um... Actually, no, the Freight Dom wasn't close. We got fucking destroyed. We beat them on Octane S&D really easily. Uh, it was like 6-2, to two, and then Freight Blitz was like 8-13. to 13. And then Dom, we lost by negative 4 on Strike Zone. So we played them really close. The team looked really good. We just need to fix a couple of things to, um, to really you know enhance our game and get it to where we need it to be for Call of Duty Championships. There are a couple of maps we got to work on, a couple of situational plays that we didn't really do well on. Um... But overall, I think we played pretty well. You know, the goal was to go there and qualify. We ended up having a pretty hard bracket, actually. Denial West was a good team. We ended up playing Envious. Obviously, they're a good team. And then our qualifying match was probably one of the hardest qualifying matches that anybody had to play. Um, we were going to have to play Curse Las Vegas or Curse New York, two really, really good teams. And um, Curse New York ended up beating Curse Las Vegas. And then we ended up playing Curse New York and then qualifying. But overall, the event was really fun. Uh, good seeing everybody there. Uh, the venue is awesome. The soundproof booths, they're so cool. The soundproof booths are awesome. I love being inside of those because you could just be in there and screaming and shouting your brains out and nobody can hear you and nobody can make out what you're saying. It's just pretty cool to have that privacy even though the casters are obviously listening um, in between matches and stuff. Just uh, you know, it was, it was really cool. So the event was overall fun. Uh, probably one of the most stressful events I've ever been to in my life. Uh, Call of Duty Championships the year before was pretty stressful, but I would say this one takes the cake because this was like, you either go or you don't go, and like it was it was really hard because the competition at this event um, is 100% going to be harder than the competition at Call of Duty Championships itself, just because every North American team can beat any other North American team in my opinion. Well, not everyone, but most of them can beat like any other team on any given day. Uh, it all depends on who comes out and plays better. So. It's just a lot more intense matches, a lot more close matches. And um, obviously, you guys saw Complexity lose. They got beat by SP, which was surprising. I didn't expect SP to come out and 
freaking win the event. That shit was crazy. Like, I knew they were good, but, like, I don't know. I don't know what the hell happened to them because they just went from, like, good to, like, great in a matter of a day. It was weird. Maybe it was just land. I don't know. Maybe they were just hot, but congratulations to them. Um, obviously, they deserve to win. And that tournament was all for seeding. The seeding isn't going by pro points. It's going by the placements. So we're going to be the seventh seed, I believe, at Call of Duty Championships. And I think that we're going to have Epsilon from EU in our pool, which is a pretty pretty rough pool for um, a pretty rough you know choice to get into our pool. But uh, I'm not afraid of anybody. I think that we can, honestly, after this weekend, I think that if we play well, we can beat anybody. Uh, and it's just all going to come down to how we play. Whenever we're small talking and communicating like we're supposed to, uh, we're really, really scary. Like we did it, I think we did it on a couple maps. Other maps, we weren't really communicating as well as we could have been. But there were some maps that we were small talking, really, you know, like calling out everything. And those maps, we just flattened, pro like flattened them. Like it wasn't even close. So I think communication right now is our biggest issue. And uh, there are a couple maps that we need to start vetoing more. We need to get better at our vetoes. But other than that, I think we're pretty solid. And I'm really excited to get to Call of Duty Championships. We're going to have about uh, a couple weeks here to practice. Um, Matt and Clayster are still in Florida. I believe they're going to Disneyland. So we'll start streaming in the next couple of days. But I just wanted to keep you guys uh, updated, you know, give you a little rundown of the event. It was awesome. Thanks to MLG and Activision, as always. Their events are always the best. And yeah, awesome that we qualified. A lot of uh, stress was lifted off our shoulders after beat New York, let me tell you. But yeah, scrims resume soon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like, favorite, comment, subscribe. I'll be posting two videos a day from now on. And as always, this was your boy, Optic Scumpy. Aw, uh, fail.